hello guys welcome back to my training in this training in today's training i am going to show you how hackers hack aol account right so let's let me show you what aol aol is a popular email service in the uk in the us right so, right is aol login so this is how the aol logins look like right so when you, when you enter your email it's going to ask you to enter your password right so a lot of hackers create this kind of website to just hack your aol account because this AOL is used uh, a lot by business people in the us in the uk and most advanced country so when hackers have access to this aol account they will be able to log into the uh, victim aol account um you know uh, do whatever transactions or do whatever harm they can do from the client or the <clears throat> victim's email. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how hackers easily create this kind of website to hack your AOL account. Don't forget that the purpose of this training is know what the hackers know so that you may not be hacked, right? So to design this kind of website, uh, like I usually say, you need to purchase a domain name and hosting. And um, I always recommend Namecheap for you to get your domain name and hosting, right? I always recommend Namecheap for you to get your domain name and hosting because your hosting is good and that hosting is very, very perfect, right? Also, if you have issues purchasing your domain name and hosting, you can also write me on WhatsApp. My WhatsApp number will be under this video. You can write me a message on WhatsApp and I can help you to get a domain name and hosting for any project that you want to do. So let me say O A O L dot co right so this is um how you can search for domain name in nameship and if that uh, domain name is available nameship is going to tell you that that domain name is available and you'll be asked to make purchase for that domain name and when you purchase the domain name you're also going to purchase hosting right so immediately you purchase your domain name um, um if your domain name is available you purchase it you make, just make sure that you're also purchasing hosting so this AOL, let me say IOL.co. So you can always tweak your domain name until you get what you are actually looking for. So if you can see that this domain name is available, so I can just add to cart, right? When I add to cart, and I'm going to host in there, I'm going to share hosting. Then I can add this particular shared hosting, right? So it's going to add up to me what I'm going to pay, and I'm, I can add to cart and I can proceed on. You know, making payment for this particular hosting and domain name. So once you purchase it, the next thing um, Namecheap is going to do, they are going to send you a username, a password, and a link to login, just like you have seen from my own dashboard here. This is a particular uh, cPanel that I use, and I am already logged in into that cPanel, right? So when you are logged into your cPanel, all you need to do is just go to your file manager, then click on file manager. Right, so when you click on file manager, it's going to open the file manager for you. And the next thing you have to do is to locate the public underscore HTML. So this is the public underscore HTML. As you can see, I have a lot of files here. The reason why I have a lot of files here is because I use this for practical purpose and I have uploaded uploaded a lot of files into the server. So if you're buying this for the first time, you may not see any file here. So all you have to do is just what upload, right? So but because I have already have a lot of sites here, I want to create a folder. At it here, just click on folder, then I can say A O L right. So I just click on create new. So I'm going to double click on AOL and I will click on upload. So I'm going to upload the files. Now don't worry about this file. This is the file. I'm going to give you access to this file. So if you stay in this training to the end of this training, I'm going to give you access to how you can actually get this file, right? I'm going to tell you how you can get access to this file. In the case, if you want to use it for a practical purpose or you just want to do this as a project, right? So I'm going to right click on this and click on extract. Now click on extract files, then I'll click on what close. So you see that it has been logged. So this, I don't need this anymore. I can just well, delete that from my server, skip. I'll delete it, right? So this is the AOL. So I'll just double click on it, then I'll click on select all, then I'll move. So if you are using your um, public underscore HTML, all you need to do is just move it directly to public underscore HTML. But me, I want to put it inside a folder AOL. So I'll just remove this. So there's a folder AOL there. I'll just move all of the files will be moved to AOL, right? So if I come back here now, I'll look for AOL. So it will be here 
right? So you can see that AOL is right here. So now let me access this. So if I want to access this, I'll just copy this domain name. Let me copy this. Don't forget it's slash AOL because I'm putting it on a folder called AOL. If I don't have any folder called AOL, I can just, you know, I'll do my web to do the top and it's going to show up. Can you see that? So this is it. Can you see that? So exactly like the home page of what AOL and they ask you to enter your information. Now let's go and configure it so that when any information is entered here, you are going to get that information on your email. So like I said, don't worry about this file. If you want to get access to this file, I'm going to give you access to this file. At the end of this video, I'm going to tell you how you can access this file. And in less than 20 minutes, you can get this done and going. All right, so let's go back to our cPanel. So this is my cPanel, right? So I'm just going to come here on this uh, verify account of HP. So I'm just going to click on edit. So I'll right click and then click on edit, right? So when I right click and click on edit, I'm just going to scroll down, right? When I scroll down, so look at this information here. This information here is very important. Can you see that information there? It's a very important information, right? Look at this information right here. So two AOL logins, and um, you're going to create this, right? So you're going to create a webmail, right? So let's go and create a webmail. So let's go here and. Uh, a web mail. let me show you how to create a web mail. so just go to email account click on email and click on email account right so i can create the aol right then i can create a password so let me just um create right so this is the email account that i've created so i'll just copy this email account because I'm going to need this email account. So I'm just going to come right here. Look at it here. I'm going to remove what I have here. I'm going to put this email account here. So which email do you want this to be sent to? I want any time to feel any information it should be sent to. At gshane129 at gmail.com. So anytime any information is filled on that website, it should be sent to this, right? So I'm going to click on what? Save changes. So you can also do how uh, many things you want to change, like create accounts, stay sign in, forget username. All of these are the things that you see right here. They are the things that you see right here, sorry. They are the things that you see right here when you are uh, when you come right here. So let us just do a test on this. So let's say my username is for this love at aol.com. So I'm going to click on next. So it's going to tell me enter password. This is so I'm going to click on submit. Awesome. So you see that immediately click on submit, it's going to tell you sorry and error as a code. Please try again later. And when you click to try again later, it's going to bring you up here and tell you to try again later. So you can keep on trying and trying and trying. But the truth of the matter is that your information has already been hacked information has to be sent to uh, the hacker so let's go right into that email and let's check so you can see aol aol login details can you see that so let me refresh this again so that you see it very properly so i'm going to refresh that again so you see that can you see that aol login details? so if i click on this to open this you see the email anything that the person is entered you take it and this is the password that i just entered so you see that in less than five or three minutes, you can actually, you know, use this strategy to get anybody's AOL email and password and victims get it and they use this to log into their victim's account. I mean, you know, hackers get this and use it to log into their victim's account, right? So this is how you can get it done. Please make sure you subscribe to this channel. Now, if you want to get access to this particular screen, right? I'll give you access to this particular script. Maybe you want to use it for your project. I'll give you access to this particular script for the sum of 25,000 naira. So if you pay 25,000 naira, there'll be a link underneath this video where you can just make your payment online, either using um, your credit card or your MasterCard, and pay in dollars, and you can pay in naira. And then uh, immediately you make the payment, and your payment is successful. You'll be redirected to download this script with immediate immediately so even if you're paying middle of the night 
you can still have access, have access to download this script and you can use it as many times as you want to use this script for whatever project you want to uh, use it for. So thank you guys, my name is Ajayi Adepayo and please, if you have any project, no matter how difficult a project is, we are right here to uh, design and develop for you. We have a team of um, coders and programmers. So we're going to design and develop any kind of project for you. So please, you can always get my WhatsApp number underneath this video. All you have to do is just write me on WhatsApp and I will be glad to work with you. So guys, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel, like this video, give me a thumbs up and give me good comment. And also chat me on WhatsApp if you need anything from me. My name is Ajayi Adebayo. Thank you for watching.